And so we're walking and I'm looking on each side. And I'm like, this can't possibly be where we're supposed to be. Yes. And like leather gimp suits in this window and whips and strange lingerie in this window. Yep. I'm like, what? We met a creepy ga guy that turned out to be a nice guy on the train to Germany. Yeah, that was before, though. Yeah. Because we, for Christmas, we were in Berlin. Right. And um, we took an overnight train. Uh-huh. Which, on your honeymoon, you should never do. Don't ever do. Um, from England, from London, to Berlin. Right. And um, you should also not go to Berlin. If you go to, like, Frankfurt or somewhere like that. Yeah. But, um... We were 22. Berlin seemed like the place to go. Well, and it we also not. went to um, the AAA <laughs> yeah. place, and she told yeah. us to go to Berlin. And so since she was kind of mapping out the vacation for us, we were like, okay. Whatever. We didn't think about anything. But, so, yeah, so we took this rickety wooden train. Yeah. And we got a sleeper car. And we paid a lot of money for her because not worth it. Not worth we're it. on our honeymoon, and we're traveling cross-country. We might want a bed. Bunk beds. For obvious reasons. But yeah, bunk beds. And, and they were not... I mean, I couldn't fit on one of them. No, you couldn't fit on them. I just... It was... And then it was cold in there. There was no heat. Drafty. I don't think there was any blankets. So yeah, it just was not worth the money. So, so we just sat up in the club car all night. Because it was warm in the club car. I don't remember. Yeah. I just remember being cold and going in and out of sleep. Anyway, so we meet this really nice guy who we thought was creepy, and he uh, winds up helping Chris find an ATM machine in Belgium. Yeah, it was crazy, running through the streets of Brussels. Well, it's so he and, he and I were running through the streets of Brussels, cobblestone <clears> streets, and <throat> trying to find an ATM. It was, well, while, like you're saying, while it was raining in December, it was a really surreal experience. It was a great one. Like one of my favorite memories is just yeah. booking through Brussels, like cobblestone streets and pubs everywhere and trying to take everything and, in. Yeah, just yeah. as it was a blur, but being able to pick things out, like there was a a beer garden where they had like Christmas lights and trees and all kinds of drunk people, and you know, it was pretty much everywhere because it's yeah Brussels in Germany, but um, just the whole festive kind of thing, and then the the light on the cobblestones because they were wet and there were the street light, the lamps and everything and just running really fast and having everything whip by and trying to keep my eye on him because he knew where he was going and I did not. I was like, oh, don't run so fast because he was um, smaller than me. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was great. Like those are the moments you, of youth that you always want, spontaneous. You don't know what's going to happen next. We were in Europe. I mean, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Pretty much perfect. So then we got to Berlin and you got sick and so that was no fun. The whole idea was to take birth control and um, I've never been good with birth control, but you know, at the time we didn't want to get pregnant and didn't think any other type of protection would, you know, be 100%. So um, we're, it took us forever to find our hotel in the first place. Two, we went by um, some really, I don't even know how to describe those shops that we went by. BDSM, they were. See, I thought about using that one. <laughs> yeah, because it was before Berlin had just become the capital again. Uh -huh. And they had not cleaned up all of the smut and stuff yet because yeah, it kind of had gone that direction. And so we, we were staying in the Forum Hotel, which was the most expensive, nicest hotel in Berlin. And it had this gallery of shops that you walk down uh -huh. to get to the front door. Yep. And we get directions. Finally. To get there. So we're like, okay, we know where it's at. And so we're walking and I'm looking on each side. And I'm like, this can't possibly be where we're supposed to be. Yes. And like leather gimp suits in this window and whips and strange lingerie in this window. Yep. I'm like, what in the hell? Yeah. And then we turn a corner and there's the giant forum sign. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, it was, it was, that's what it looks like when you're walking up to the nicest hotel in Berlin. Yeah. And uh, then we get in and turn the TV on. Oh, God. <clears throat> 
Okay, so we're in the lobby. We're trying to get checked in. Oh, realized how long me. it would take to, to actually get to Germany. So we'd missed a whole day of staying, which was totally fine with yeah, us. Yeah, it's okay. That ends up being just fine. And so I look at the woman. I said, I need to use the restroom. Where's it at? And she gave me directions, but I couldn't understand where they were. So I turn around and I'm running and all I get to was the elevator trash, uh, um, cigarette trash can yeah. thing, which is like this round and maybe a little bit. And I throw up on the top mm -hmm. of it and it goes all over the floor yeah, it's good. and I kind of come around the cor corner and I'm awesome. like, um, yeah, I kind of threw up over there and she looked at me like, you know, that always happens. She's like, it's Berlin. I mean, and she weren't wearing a vinyl suit while you did it. <laughs> That's what she's probably used to. So we get upgraded to the nicest room, like a suite or something. Yeah, because it's it's Christmas Eve, right? And no, one, the place is empty. No one travels during right. that time. They're traveling home, right? Um, or they're traveling to see like family. They're not staying, gonna, staying at the, hotels, at the, the like foreign us. hotel. And so we got a suite with a gift basket and bottles of wine. Yeah, so it's, um, this it was hotel really employee nice. comes up to the door and she tries to get, roll in a cart and we're like, we didn't order this. She speaks no English. I mean, yeah. none. And so I try to explain like, and Chris is like, just let her come in. Yeah. And so we let her come in. She dropped everything off. And I'm like, well, we might as well watch TV since we're awake. <laughs> yeah. If you might ever well. go to Germany, do not Well, it's not like it. that now. Okay. Anyways, let's just say that um, their sexuality is very open there. And um, obviously, because we saw kink shops on the way there. Yeah. But um, just, yeah, don't turn on the TV. That was good stuff. We were just flipping through, and it was just there. And I was like, oh, my God. I go, I'm like, oh, body part. Oh, oh, not a body part I want to see. Ooh. Let me find some news here. And there, there was nothing. We, we mm -hmm. had to turn it off. And yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was very crazy. We had a lot of experiences. <clears throat> some great, some bad. Well, I mean, all of them were good in some sense. It's part of the adventure. of Not having our camera stolen. Well, I'm trying not to dwell on that. Yeah, I forgot about that a long time ago until you remembered. Uh, all missing. of my camera equipment got stolen at Heathrow Airport. No, we were at a subway system. We oh there, no, but... that's right. We were at we were at the train station. Yep, that's what it was. We just got out of Heathrow, and someone grifted us. Yeah. So and, if you're uh, ever somewhere and a person comes up to ask for directions or explanation of something. <laughs> Do not take your eye off your camera equipment, whatever you have of valuables. Um, it's best just to keep it attached to your body the whole time. Yeah. So. Which sucked because it was the beginning of the trip. So yep. we have no pictures. None. From our honeymoon. It sucks. In Europe. Because we had this beautiful train ride from Paris oh, to Tour. To Tour. Oh. oh In Tour. That's where I want to go back to. I know you do. Of all, how badly we felt in paris it was the exact opposite in tour like it was beautiful and clean and people were nice and went and out of their way to be helpful and it's a smaller town oh, yeah. south of paris yeah. and so um it's just it's a natural thing to go down there mm -hmm. but um but yeah it's a lot smaller <coughs> and people were more inclined to talk to you and be helpful and stuff like yeah, that. yeah they were genuinely happy we were there yeah in paris it always felt like they were just kind of waiting for us to leave. They were tolerating well, our presence. Yeah, very true. So. Um, what's funny is trying to go window shopping <laughs> uh, in a, a foreign country that you don't know how to speak their language. So, um, so yeah, we uh, definitely want to go back. We want to take the boys with us this time. Yeah. And uh, we will most likely be more adventurous. Um, sure. More spontaneous uh, with our our time and what we do and where we go. Unfortunately, we were just so young that it was um, hard just to want to go out and do stuff because um, I was a little bit more reserved. Well, we were young and we had just gotten married, and so the majority of the time we wanted to spend together was private. Like we wanted to get out and see stuff, but we had just gotten married, and so that part of your life has started and you want to be together. You want to do things together and not really go out and explore the town as much. And so that was kind of 
had we waited like a week for the so, honeymoon to start, it would have been more, we would have been more inclined to spend less time alone in the hotel than we were when we went because everything was still new, so new and we were trying to get used to each other. And, you know, there's that excitement of our life has started now. And so you want to be together all the time and not right. really have anyone intrude on your pri- private time. So, um, before we let you go, which we need to do. Yep. Two things. English breakfast at your hotel sucks ass. Yeah, don't do that. Okay. I eat three loaves of toast every day. It comes with your room, whatever, but it is horrible. Okay? Coffee, tea, and toast is not breakfast. If you want to start your first breakfast there, that's cool until you decide where your second breakfast second is going to be. And then you can go and get your second right. breakfast. Yeah. Uh, we had the best cabbie in England when we went to London. You remember yeah. that guy? Yeah. The guy was awesome. We apparently gave him a really big tip, and so he kept driving us around until yeah. we found um, the hotel that we needed. The, the second time. Yes. Because we were in England twice. Yes. We stayed in Mayfair the first time. Right. And then we stayed at like the Arkansas, or it was a an American state name. I think it was the Montana. The Montana, yeah. That's the place that had the stupid English breakfast. Right. It was some random place. like we had, And it was mandatory to pay for because yeah. after the first night I went down, I was like, yeah, I don't want this ever again because this is dumb. And I'm not paying 11 pounds for toast, coffee, and tea. And like, that's part of your, you, we can't, it's, you have to pay for it. Like, fine. So I went and I literally ate three loaves ate of bread really every did. morning. <laughs> <laughs> but um, best cabbie, um, I think I had the best pizza there the second time we were there. Remember that pizza place we went? Or was that? Yeah. No, it was Paris, wasn't it? No, no, no. Because we had pizza in London. Paris. But we did start walking. We did get a chance to walk around Paris, and there yeah. were some really cool places yeah. there. Um, just for reference, when we walked back from the Eiffel Tower, it took us an hour and a half <laughs> because we had nowhere, no idea where we were going, and it was just thick with people, it and was. so it was difficult. Everyone, everyone was was booking to the tower to get there because there was so little time. But once the millennium happened and it was now January 1st, people were taking their time walking and they were grouping together and talking. Yeah, and they so were hanging out. There wasn't a lot of forward right. movement. You had to fight your way through the crowds. Well, so. and also we just had nowhere we were going. Sure. So I'm it was, sure it was a we took combination the long of things. way around. Yeah. But eventually we recognized some of the directions Landmarks. for um yeah. where we were staying luxembourg i think is what it was called the jardin yeah um time to go yeah so i think that's enough more than you ever wanted to know about our honeymoon we were supposed to talk about um chris and his cups tonight so we'll do that in the next episode. we'll do that in the next one i will stop my thinking yes i'm trying <laughs> don't shush me don't be the shush your honey <laughs> Shut up. Thanks for joining us again. We really appreciate all the people that have subscribed and all the people that watch our vlogs. So thank you very much. And we really appreciate the time you put into sharing with us. Have a good night and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.